Hey guys, I'm Miranda Suze, a wedding photographer, small business owner, and a successful one with a six-figure revenue every year. So I created this amazing template for everybody that is a small business owner and who has separate bank accounts between their business and ch checking savings and their personal banking, okay? And I want you to be able to track all of this information and knowing how to split all the revenue that comes in into your tax accounts, your operating expenses accounts, any savings accounts, and your even personal banking accounts so you can pay yourself every month without you know, going into debt. And this is a template that I created and I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna do my May 2023 accounting right now. Um, and I'm just gonna walk you through. So basically once you download the template on Etsy, which is linked below, you can order it there for a very small price. Um, you can go ahead and get started and walk along this with me on this journey, or you can just see how this works and then decide if you're gonna order the template or not. Um, I've already made a copy of the original template, so I renamed it to May 2023 Seuss Moments Accounting, and in case you don't know how to do that, you go to File, make a copy once you get the download. Made a little asterisk, like the red asterisk star, on what gets auto-calculated, and when you hover it, it even has a note here, so you don't wanna like delete or remove any of that, but you do wanna put in your goals for every month, for example, my goal is ten thousand dollars a month in revenue and then um and 3500 i want to put into savings so i want to see how that looks like every month and making sure i reach those goals if i can and then as well as my expenses comes around six thousand and i'm crossing my fingers so we go under budget here okay so then we have this expenses log here. This is where we're gonna walk through together on how to use this expense log. I go through my Capital One banking and my credit card statements to see where my business expenses came through and then making sure that the right credit card was being charged for a business expense and for a personal expense. So I track all of that. Sometimes I make the mistake every month and accidentally charge a personal expense on a business credit card and vice versa so i want to log all that and make sure i'm paying out of the correct accounts and i'm sure you do that too so this is going to be super helpful for you and then the income log obviously it's when money comes in we love this sheet and we want to fill it up as much as we can at least ten thousand dollars is the goal if you go over amazing Okay, so we'll put that in. And now the savings log is auto calculated. So once you put something into the income log here, it'll auto populate here in the savings. And when you download the spreadsheet, you're gonna have the same exact information that you see here. Uh, and then you can totally customize it based on your business and your goals on your saving percentages. I put 22% into tax my tax savings account every month. Ads and marketing is five, as well as equipment and education savings accounts. Um, my health savings account is 3% of any income that comes in. And then obviously 65% goes to operating expenses. And from my operating expenses uh, checking account, I actually pay myself out of that every single week. Um, and let me uncheck all of these. And then I can drag up to copy what Ever is in that cell the bill calendar it stays the same you're gonna add this um, every month when you notice there's a subscription or something that's monthly payments and then you check off once that has been um, logged in your expenses account this is an annual you know uh, subscriptions and things like that and what you can expect there and you're gonna you're gonna go ahead and complete this as you um, pay like annual subscriptions and things like that equipment this doesn't get deleted any uh, every month uh, so you want to make sure you're gonna log all the major equipment that you buy and track all of that for inventory purposes uh, and then mileage tracker obviously this helps with tax accounting for every month to make sure you know what are you doing with your your business basically your car that gets you from point A to point B for all of your gigs okay so you want to track all of that um, and this is the monthly sticker, so you're just going to select one like May, Control C for copy, and then you're going to paste it into the uh, monthly calculations tab. That's what I've already done here, and I would do Control V, and then you could just play with it and put in the correct spot there, just so you're organized and knowing what you know spreadsheet you're on, even though it says it up here. 
just an extra thing to stay organized. Category list. Now this is something that's going to be auto. I've already put this all together for you. Even put definitions of what each of these are. Uh, so you have that. So you don't even have to uh, think when you download the accounting uh, template. You have all of this information and obviously extra tabs to input anything else that you think based on your small business, what you need to write expenses for. Now this is going to update every single month as the projects because I book new things that I will be inputting here and you'll later find out what that means and how you use this project's uh, category list. Um, savings accounts is different for everybody. So if you have, you know, 18 savings accounts, which is a lot of different uh, savings accounts, but if you do, uh, you'll want to put that all in. But this is like the basics, uh, what I recommend and what I do for my savings. Uh, this is also known as like, you could put this as checking as well. Because not all of those are savings accounts. Okay, and then accounts receivable is how you're getting money, right? If you took an accounting class, you would know that. Um, if you didn't, no shame. But accounts receivable is how you get money. So these are different sources of how I receive money from my client, from projects, and then accounts payable is how I pay the bill, basically. So these are different ones here. And you're going to input your own as well. I think this might be like the first thing you should get done before you get started on this template. Uh, so once you've completed that, we are going to start with expenses. So you're not going to see my personal bank account, but I'm going to put real things in here. I'm going to go to my Capital One Banking, checking my operating expenses account. And the first thing I paid for in May would be my shoe proof. Actually, I received money, but we're going to go into Easy Pass, which is a toll. And the funny thing with um, my tolls account is that some of them are personal personal expenses. Like I did not do a business uh, venture using the tolls. Like, you know, I went to a friend's house or went to family's house or whatever. So I will have to go back into my Easy Pass um, tolls account to see what I was doing on that day and was I using it for a business purpose or not. And then I would pay my personal checking account to my business operating account. Like I would pay myself back, if you understand what I'm saying. And I'm gonna put easy pass. I'm gonna put toll so as my category. And then the project, we don't know yet, but the amount was, and what paid it was capital one expenses, yep. And we're gonna find out later what was the correct account to pay this. And if it's not operating expenses, say it's my personal banking account because it was a personal uh, drive that I took, uh, then I would transfer the money from my personal banking account to my operating expenses account. Um, and then check this once I've done that task, okay? And this is Wi-Fi. So even if you don't remember the first part of the category, you could just type in like what the definition was for that category and it'll come up for you when you search it in the category. Just type it in. Um, for some reason, there's a red tick here. I'm going to type in tolls again. I may have put a space in there or something. That's why it was red. Okay, so for utilities, we don't put a project. This is just a basic uh, bill that I pay every month, which is Wi-Fi. And then we started operating and exactly the correct account payable for this is operating. And yes, I did do the transfer because it's literally in the same bank account. There's draw. So this here, I paid myself. Yeah. It's me. Um, and I pay myself this every week because it works for me. Okay, and it came out of operating expenses, and exactly I know what um, should have been paid. Actually, this should be check because, no, it was ACH. I don't even have that on here. So operating expenses, expenses are fine. I did an ACH payment, so I can even just do that. I'm just gonna give you a general idea here of how I get due to my expenses, and this is literally it. 
Now let's go into income, like money coming in. And I'm not trying to like show off how, how much money I get coming in and you know, it's different every single month. Uh, the pros and cons of being a small business owner is that you don't really know how much income is coming in. You have to be your salesperson and try to uh, market and sell to people and hopefully meet your goals every month uh, just so you can make, you know, payments and live your the life that you love, right? I don't think I should show you guys. I feel like it's a little much. So what I'll just do for, I'm just going to make a fake one. So I'm going to say on the first um, project name, we're going to put, we'll say on the 15th, Katie decided to pay the uh, bill because we did her, we did her baby shower and she is ready to pay for, you know, the album or whatever that she bought. So I'm going to say we received the money via cash app and we took $500. Now this check mark here is digi transfer percentage to savings. We're gonna leave it unchecked for now because we're gonna go to our savings log and it auto populated, right? I love this part, it's less work for you. So income here, stretch this out. Income here, it auto populated, right? Uh, so now it's telling me, okay, I need to put $110 transfer into my tax savings account. Ads and marketing, $25 need to go into ads and marketing. $25 need to go to equipment and education savings account. 30%, which is $15 into health savings. And then 65%, which is basically already remaining balance, 325 goes into my operating expenses account. And once I've done all those transfers, I will check here. And I'll also check here once I've completed that transfer check out your monthly calculations and see what that looks like, right? So it'll show you here, cash up, receive $500, okay? Uh, over here, uh, let's see, it'll show you how much uh, towards your goal you've made and your $3,325 off, for example, if your goal was $3,500, right? So this kind of goes into de detail here. And then this will even tell you like, your expenses for owner's draw, like how I pay myself every week, $1,100, and you're $3,300 off towards your goal. Uh, so like this really helps you stay on track and stay debt free if you really follow your budgets. And it's nice to see how much money's coming in and out so you stay organized as a business owner. And it's just healthy business practice to know where your money is going and coming in. Now, if this was super helpful for you, please check it out, the template that I have for you ready to go to use. And it's on Etsy, the link is below. If you have any other questions about it, don't hesitate to send me a DM, okay? Uh, my Instagram account is Seuss Moments Weddings. I also have another one called Jersey City Photographer because I'm in New Jersey and you can send me a DM asking me about the accounting template. Even on Etsy, you can send a message as well. But I look forward to finding out that you guys are successful business owners out there, whether it's in the wedding industry, health industry, um, whatever you do for people because you're doing what you love and you get to get paid for it. That's amazing. All right, rant over and uh, best of luck to you guys and have a great month. Bye.